If you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? <laughs>
will be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? At Gotham U. So this professor was Batman's last case? Kirk Langstrom. The half-finished file was attached to Batman's code black. There's something big there. Hopefully that means a fight. Could stand to let out some aggression right now. Got 
a positive idea on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Our scientist got himself dead. Where's his office? I remember reading that Langstrom's office is in Molten Hall on the third floor. Thanks. Huh. Someone left the doors open on the third floor. This is it. Not seeing much police work here. Guess Langstrom kicked it somewhere else. Okay, those marks are weird. Not much on my end yet. You need anything, big guy? I got this. You don't need to do all of this alone if something's weird. Sounds like you don't trust me, Nightwing. He trusted you. So, so do I. We'll finish this for him. Yeah, yeah, I get it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Langstrom was busy working when he was attacked. He lost a lot of blood. Fast. He tried to run, but the attacker pinned him to the wall. He didn't have a chance. Just before he died, Langstrom tried to get to that cabinet. What could be so important? Well, well, well. A hidden door. You're full of surprises, Dr. Langstrom. Maybe I can enter a code on the thermostat. Hmm. Langstrom circled two dates. Better remember those. That's not a Gotham area code. Maybe this phone number isn't just a phone number. Got it. Time to find out what you were hiding, Langstrom. Langstrom do to these things. This can't be normal university research. Langstrom's desk. Let's see what he's been up to down here. What is this? A hard drive. Must be important if it was hidden down here. Better get this back to everyone. I'm done here. I don't think the cops saw the marks on the walls, and they definitely didn't see the hidden lab. I'm bringing you a hard drive I found in there. Great. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Seriously. No one could have... Are here setting fires. Of course, 
Gang activity's been ramping up without Batman around. Guess the freaks want to join the party. Well, time for me to crash their party. Better take care of his buddies before they burn the whole damn place down. It's old. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash! Smash! <coughs> gotcha. There's gotta be more of them here. whole place is gonna burn down. drive I found so we can crack it open together. Maybe we'll find out what got Langstrom killed.
Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Lightstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. Belfry here. Happy to report we're now fully operational. Before you head back, though... Let me guess. You've got an errand for me to run. The hard drive from Langstrom's lab requires a biodecryption key. Biodecryption? That means it's on his body. I have to go to the GCPD morgue now, don't I? Indeed. With knights in Gotham as they are, it should be quiet at the station. Relatively. First the university, now the police department. It's everything I avoided as a kid in one night. Cops are on alert. Still, can't just walk in the front door.
ghoul is here. Copy. Be careful. You know you can't beat me. My beloved has trained you well. Didn't he tell you to stay out of Gotham? Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. I'm not tempted to roll the dice and toss him into a Lazarus pit. Wouldn't exactly be new territory for you. Wait! Why did he attack Bruce? Ninjas. There's Langstrom. What's left of him? You're looking for a by. Langstrom's file didn't say he had diabetes. So why did he have this equipment? So, he rigged a diabetes tester to store data and read his blood. Great. Belfry, the GCPD knows Talia's been here. Where's my best exit? Way ahead of you. They're coming in heavy, so be careful. Wait, that man never told me he had access to the GCPD systems. Now I guess I do too? And now, for my next trick... Well done. Now to sneak out all quiet-like. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah. I can double-check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets. Find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls.
Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. You and Bruce probably did that every night when I thought I was out on my own. Didn't you? I can't be like him, Alfred. But I can't go back to how I used to be. Bruce showed me a path, and I'm sticking with it. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. Your buddy Langstrom was murdered. Spill it. What do you know? I, I, I don't know who burned the dock. His research was top secret. Even my boss didn't know I was doing work for him. Dick, maybe it was just an accident. Hey, Belfry. No one seems to know why Langstrom got off. We have Talia's location. Wouldn't hurt to talk to her while we figure out a new plan. Sending coordinates. Got it. Thanks. I've nearly reached Talia's location. Remember, no matter what she says, do not trust her. What? Just because her father was a dangerous fanatic doesn't mean she's one too. Just be careful. Talia! You know you're not welcome in Gotham. Pack up your league and go. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. Huh. You want me to believe Raish's daughter didn't inherit the job after his death? Because destroying his body isn't suspicious at all. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the league, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's heir, why did Raish kill him? That makes no sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. So, instead of giving Raish another chance at resurrection, you stabbed and burned what was left of his body. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. Well, we both got what we wanted. You can go now. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Don't. Call the Widow an orphan act with me. You still haven't answered my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Goddamn ninjas. Belfry, I met Talia. I think she's split from the League. Of course she has. Why didn't you ask her about Langstrom? We don't need to give her any leads. We're a step ahead of her. Good idea. Let's try and keep it that way.
Hey, um, we can use you in the Belfry? What do you need? We received a message from Harley Quinn. It's pretty interesting, to say the least. Harley? That's gonna be trouble. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Babs, help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it, and we'll know. been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex. Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. Gate Penitentiary, home to some of Gotham's worst. I'm not just talking about the inmates. Yeah. The prison was built on top of a fort dating back to colonial times. And you're giving me a history lesson. Why? I studied the architectural plans and found some oddities. There may be an entrance to the west. Thanks, Belfry. I'll go check that out. I bet Batman never had to take the side entrance. Like you've been eating well? Still big as an ox and twice as mean. <laughs> been a while, Harley. You good? Hmm. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? You were looking into something for Batman. What was it? to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Guess of all the criminals he knew, you'd be the one to ask. Hey! I am not a criminal! A misunderstood. Look, you know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need 
you to follow up on this here card. Figures you're not making this easy for me. It should be done in records. Okay. Bye. Hey. Ah. Uh, you're back. And I got you what you wanted. Gibby. Now, how will I get this to you? Seriously? Do I look like I'm 12 to you? All available guards to red blood. Play nice. What the hell am I supposed to do with this, Harley? Hmm. She hung up. Of course. Relax. Thinking about what happened at Blackgate, Master Jason? I can't believe Harley got away. She played us, and I'm sure she's got more shit planned. She hasn't left any other messages or maps. Do you have any leads on where she might have gone? Not really. But the freaks are usually her partners in crime. A good place to start, then. Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? <laughs> they all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is on to something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. 
Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. Of course it's locked. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, just answer my questions and I won't break anything else. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting reform citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed? Huh. Guess all that time in Blackgate did the trick. Funny how you weren't able to weasel out of it like so many of your pals. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. I want to know who's handing out get-out-of-jail cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Never stopped me before. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the bat gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Belfry, Penguin was a dead end. Whatever he knows, he's not telling. All right, come back to the Belfry and we'll regroup. Sounds good. Thanks. Belfry, I got some regulators inside Star Labs. The building's locked down. But it looks like they've been doing maintenance without a permit. That's probably how the regulators got in. See if you can find an opening. <sighs> Shoddy construction. is here and he's all cozy with the regulators with freeze involved we should prepare for the worst Associates are after is their business. I have what I came for. So why are you here? What was worth killing those guards for? My time is valuable. I will not waste any more of it talking to you. <laughs> Compromised. Please vacate the area. We're running out of air. Help us! Use 
There's a rail gun! <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, yeah. Deal with it. God, you came when you did. Good work getting the call out. He took all of our cryo gel. It's enough to drain the thermal energy from Gotham three times over. I would freeze the entire city. We won't let that happen. Sit tight. GCPD will be here soon. Tell them everything you told me. I will. Again, thank you. Penguin kept his mouth shut. Batman made this stuff look easy. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so wrapped up in Batman's last case, we ignored the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Plus, whatever shit Penguin's up to these days, maybe if we mess with him and a few other crooks, he'll feel like talking. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Guess it's time to take a page out of Batman's book. I promise it's an excellent read. You need to find that cryogel. And take down Freeze. He killed that scientist. Just to spite us. And then, he got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, Bruce is supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Sam? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Sketchy pills and sketchy doctors. My favorite. Did it lead anywhere? The website for the mysterious Dr. Q seems to have vanished, but we'll keep looking. I think it's safe to assume Harley's up to something. But what? Is that not always the question with Dr. Quinzel? Yeah. Thanks, Alfred. Let me know if you find anything. Of course. I used to be someone I didn't want to be. But now... I'm free. You can be too. Guys, come check this out. Dick, it's upside down. I got it. Hmm. Harley's an actual shrink. Why is she selling healing bracelets? Supplements? <sighs> what the hell's a free glow egg? Huh. Who would even buy that crap? She knows this stuff doesn't work. So what's her angle? 
Most Gothamites will see or be involved in one or more violent crimes a month. You know, statistically speaking. What's that got to do with anything? She's selling them hope. Oh, crap. Come to the Monarch Theater tonight. I've got an explosive announcement just for you. She definitely means explosive, literally. to stop me from helping you. What do we say? Oh! Don't worry. That's why I made this. This little thing will give you the courage to do what you always wanted to do. An implant that lets you take on the world! Don't fall for it! Harley Quinn is the last person you should trust! I bet you want to see it in action! Dr. Q has an extra strength model. <clears throat> Why don't we try this again? <laughs> I'd say you have a shoddy product. Just get you where you need to be. Isn't that right, Quinners? Place is rigged below. Echo protocol. Now. You all did so well. I'm so proud of you. Get your free implants from my friendly associates on your way out. Zaptic Q has left the building. If you see in the studio, it means we're all alive. A bit boring, really. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for you. A in muscles, and an F in showing my softer side? <sighs> Figures. Harley Quinn is a menace. She's pulling in an audience with her feel-good bullshit. And we still don't know what her endgame is. It would seem to me that it's Dr. Q who's causing all this chaos, no? But they're the same. 
Wait, you're right. If we focus on taking down Dr. Q's operations, that'll limit the damage Harley can do. Sounds like a sensible plan to me. Thanks, Alfred. See anything interesting, Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Hey, I taught him a few things, too. Though he was better at watching Gotham. Even when I was trying to take out the gangs, I couldn't stay a step ahead of him like he could. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. Mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tech. As long as I get a breath between the gills, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... flowers anytime. It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. Hello, beautiful. Care to show me about Gotham? Now you can thank me. Thanks, Fox. Not the person I expected to meet, but I suppose Batman trusts you. You're in his good books too, so I guess we'll be working together. What's happening? Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. Corruption in the GCPD? You don't say. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes. And dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. And it keeps going on until only the worst cops are left. Yeah, I get the picture. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. It's fine. If it helps clean up the force, I'm in. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. I'll see what I can do. So you can use a door after all. You know why I'm here. not to answer them. The rich and powerful have been getting a free pass out of Blackgate for years. But you serve time. Why? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by who? But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> the 
Powers Club. Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. <laughs> but you got no problem with me heading there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Belfry, you hear all that? Penguin sounded too eager to work together. Do you think he's up to something? Maybe, but from his reaction, he's convinced the Court of Owls is real. Okay, I'll do a deep dive on the court while you're out. Be in touch. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Belfry, what did you dig up about the court? The court is an old folktale. The stuff circus people love. The legend has it they're an elite society that runs the town in secret. Yeah, the Court of Owls is watching and all that. But a guy like Penguin isn't scared of nursery rhymes. If there's any truth to these court stories, they could be behind all those releases from Blackgate. And those cases go back hundreds of years. Good point. Here's hoping the Powers Club tells us more. Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. <laughs> As for that other issue, 
We've already bribed the Senators. I can assure you a bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. I, I abhor dealing with filth. I'm sorry, Mama. We need to get you to safety. Scare your little flies scratching at the walls. They're all soft. of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. The court cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. <laughs> the last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget to hit play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? 
Let's find the door. <laughs> We're way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares? And beats. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New challenger. Next level, pit of despair. Get ready. Whoa. The Lazarus Pit? Yeah. yeah. It's stupid. I'll be fine. It's not stupid. Uh. You died. It's okay to not be okay with that. Uh. Know what? I'm hungry. I'll get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. Hey. Thanks, Babs. Oh, this is not good. There are riots, like, all over Gotham. Well, Dr. Q invites all of her quinners to a wellness party. Wonderful. Throw up the bat signal or something. That'd flush her out. It's Montoya. I don't know what to tell you, Crispus. She's a soccer mom. Just get her in cuffs, man. Hey. Give me a sec. Nightwing, we got something weird down here. We set up some blockades, but who knows how long those will last. Montoya, Harley's instigating these riots. Hold your line, we're coming to you. How many of you bats are on this call? You know what? It doesn't matter. Just hurry. Well, we have a target. Let's knock some heads. I don't care what you have to do. Keep your barricade up. Rough night. Aren't they all? I don't know. I'd say the jury's still out on this one. There's still no sign of Harley. This is ridiculous. What do soccer moms and yoga dads need to ride for? Dealer pricing on minivans? I'll check it out. Be careful. I'll have to do a lot of paperwork if you die.
Got it. L3. Coming for you, Harley. Just like in the movies. That's how you're controlling them. Hand it over. Nah, -uh. my turn. That's enough games, Harley. <laughs> As if this has been in the works since Blackgate. Welcome to my party. Your party sucks. It's not even cake. Get out! Start running! Hey! Where are you going? You can't leave yet! You were having fun! Last call. Party's over. Party's not over until I say it is! The bats definitely would have figured out where I was faster. And, 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 he would have personally taken me back to Blackgate. Like a gentleman. Yeah, we both know I'm not a gentleman. Uh, but I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Thanks. I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. I'm just gonna blame you, cool? Isn't that what you always do? Don't be a smartass. I'm gonna be dealing with this headache for weeks. Ah, you'll be done in no time. Oh, yeah. I got a full desk of open cases, it says. God damn it! <laughs> you tell anyone about this clown girl, I'll gag you! The Court of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule us one and all. I always figured that rhyme was just to scare kids into being good, like Gotham's version of Santa Claus. When Bruce began investigating the court, he wondered if even he was being too cautious, chasing a fairy tale. 
It seems impossible that someone could control Gotham from the shadows without Batman finding out. The court must be hella powerful to hide like this for so long. For all we know, anyone could be in on it. A grand conspiracy. I'm not sure Bruce would be gratified to find his suspicions were right. Find anything else about Mr. Freeze at Quartz Labs? Not really. But whatever he has planned, he was willing to kill Dr. Upshot over it. At least we've got the disruptor. If we could track down what Freeze took from the lab, it would give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. Is this something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised, extreme weather events in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliot Center. We need to get there now. Field disruptor. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine! What? This piece of junk? Clear out now, or you'll regret it. Irrelevant! I already have what I need! A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. So you're gonna pay for what you've done here. Not so tough now, huh, Freeze? System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. Can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. You dead in there? You should have let me die. It would have been so much easier for you. <laughs> the weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. That ungrateful bastard said I should have let him die. Maybe he's right. Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. And now, it's up to me. We 
got Freeze locked up, but his cryo weapons are still out on the streets. It will take more than that for the regulators to relinquish such impressive technology. They won't. So we have to find their stockpiles and get rid of the guns. Time for a chat with your regulator friends, then? They'll be so glad to see me. Best hideout ever, right? This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. We still need to work on expanding the library. But I think Bruce would like it anyway. I know he would. Because this is your home. Never really knew what home felt like. But standing in this place, looking over Gotham... Yeah, it's okay. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So... He made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Of course he did. So, where's Batman? He owes me a coffee. He's... unavailable. Well, damn. Sorry. He really helped Mum and I out a lot. How's Leslie been, anyway? She's fine, enjoying retirement, watches medical dramas to nitpick them. But there's still a shit ton of work to do here. For both of us. Yeah, it never ends, does it? You've been helping people in Gotham, and that's great. So keep it up. Come visit me once in a while, and I'll pass on anything helpful I might find. Besides, Mum will send both of us to the ER if I don't keep an eye on your health. How could I say no? Of course it's creepy and glowing. I'm sure this is up to code. Hello. I'm selling out Scout cookies. I'm in, Belfry. It's some kind of court hideout. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? I'll look around and let you know. Moreno? I know that name from somewhere. Belfry, do you remember a murder case? The victim was someone named Moreno. Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. It looks like the Court of Owls ordered the hit. Let me see what else I can find out. Belfry, I got it. The court ordered a hit at the Chelsea Tunnel. Construction on the tunnel was shut down when the site was declared unsafe. This reeks of a cover-up. The Court of Owls is hiding something down there. Going over now. Take care, and keep us updated. Belfry, looks like the workers found a huge pit, then stopped. I'll probably be out of comms range down there. 
Track me if you can, and I'll check in when I get a signal. I'm heading down. Copy that. into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. You knew we'd find the court. You were just waiting for us to stick our necks out. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something called Dionysium. And it smells like Lazarus pit water to me. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. So they're using Dionysium to make talons, then. What do you know? Huh. So why doesn't the League make a deal? Trade the court some green goo in exchange for mindless talon ninjas? <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. <laughs> you turned a chemical reaction into some kind of bullshit holy ritual. Oh, those are some harsh words. That ceremony 
resurrected you, Jason. I knew it was you, Talia. That pit scrambled my mind, but I'm still a damn good detective. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. After all the shit you've done to me, I don't owe you anything. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. Cut the talking in Riddle's bullshit. You want us to get rid of the voice so the League will leave Gotham alone. What's in it for you, though, hmm? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Toya feels. Hey Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Just getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure is constantly changing. It's it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides, unstable phosphate groupings, and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. But what if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. 
Putting them back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. Muggings and hanging out at the docks? Clayface is really slumming it. What's his plan? Hard to say. Mr. Carlo has always been rather unpredictable. I guess I'll have to go check up on him. Be careful. We still don't know for sure what the turbine might have done to him. your hostages, not kill you. How would you know? You weren't there! I saw the security tapes. You didn't have shit to do with it. If Batman wants me to change the script, tell him to come down here himself. Let him come. He can't. He's dead, Clayface. It's been almost a year.
Belfry, Clayface got away. I'm coming back. Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. They're not my type. So, what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? Thanks. I always thought about how I'd run this place. To start, I'm gonna need this office for myself. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. You mean, take out competition? Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. Uh, I'm only doing this because I'm already going after those criminals. Well, that's the spirit. About time you showed up. Call me Red Hood. And your name is? If I don't need to know your real name, you don't need to know mine. I got grandkids to think about. You can just call me Madame Palomares. Okay, Madame Palomares. Got your message. Said you had some intel for me. I do. What I'm about to tell you is highly confidential. There's a group of us. People who want to see real change in Gotham. We call ourselves The Watch. Impressive. I started the group years ago when I got fed up with all the bad apples in this town. Hmm. Been there. I reached out to Batman for help. He wasn't too sure about us at first, but I showed him that having eyes on the ground could be useful. So we started giving him tips to help him keep our neighborhood safe. He told me that if he ever went quiet for this long, that I should reach out to you. He was right. I'll do whatever I can to keep your neighborhood safe, ma'am. I'll spread the word to the other members of the Watch. He is missed. But the entire Watch has your back. We can do this. Together. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Yeah, the court seems to like their privacy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Hope you got a good therapist. And thanks for the drive. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry, I took care of it. Hendrix handed me a data drive after I saved him. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. Dispatch, we're going to be at the scene. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Bruce.
Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss it. to present our host for the evening. Seriously? If that's the voice, he's not even trying to hide it. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity, a brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce, the last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Shit, that's really him. It's a match for the voice of the court. Stay close to him. We still need to figure out who he is. So you made it here, all by yourself. Well, someone had to stop you from destroying Gotham. Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Oh. Power and glory. Mm. Never had that offer from a weirdo in a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask... ...is you, Mr. Todd. Jacob Kane? Oh. How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. 
We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham will find out you've been playing with their lives. They're not your toys. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. I stopped killing people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You say you protect Gotham, but you're racking up a body count. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant... Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce gave everything to save this city. You fight for yourselves. He would never have supported this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I am nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Montoya, it's Red Hood. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. I was there, trying to help. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? The League of Shadows, that's who. I'll send you what we have on them. The slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city, to take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe. Isabella Haas. Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the police. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The 
court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. Then let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Could have told us your league was planning a murder spree at the charity ball. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. Despite all the killings, the voice is still alive. Then the league will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. And the court will send their talons to retaliate. How many of Gotham's citizens will die in the crossfire, Talia? Countless. The league will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. And that is? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. What else do you know about what Langstrom was doing? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. Hey, Belfry. Did you get all that? I wish we hadn't, but yes. The last thing we need right now are stronger talents. The court's scary enough as it is. We have to keep going or the city will go up in flames. Let's find some more helpful sources. Was wondering when you'd show up. I wanted you to have plenty of time to read those files I sent you. Some pretty serious shit here. A secret society that controls Gotham? With Jacob Kane at the head? And then there's all the murders. I'd say you were off your game, if it didn't make so much damn sense. I've seen so many shady things over the years, and this... <sighs> explains every single one of them. We have to bring Kane down, and the court with him. Too many corrupt cops on the force for me to just arrest him. If I had someone I could actually trust on the case, I might be able to get some solid evidence. Then you're stuck with me. I'll go looking for court trouble and see what I find. These loads are pretty hot. Are you sure the velocity isn't too high? It'll be fine. Besides, it's not like I'll be shooting anyone who doesn't deserve it. You're at the upper safety limit. That doesn't leave you a lot of margin for error. You've seen the body armor criminals wear. Can't afford to play nice in an arms race. Not all our enemies wear armor. Uh-huh. If you believe these rounds are safe, then prove it. Shoot me. Fine. Maybe they are a little hot. Why don't you crunch your numbers and tell me what the best load should be? Great. Oh, while we're at it, we should look at polymer volume and composition. Hmm. The decreased velocity will impact expansion, but if we tweak the gel compound... We don't have much time. Take the drone. It'll get you to the prison faster. The regulators have breached the prison's perimeters and are making their way to Freeze's cell. The guards are completely outnumbered. Then we'd better stop them right now.
does not look good. I told you before. Letting me die would have been easier. Now, nothing can stop what's coming. Freeze. There's nothing left for you to do but surrender. This... This was meant to be my greatest creation. You could have started over. Your life didn't have to be about revenge. to pick you up. Put me back in my cell if you must. down at the Iceberg Lounge.
Lazarus Pit. Not again. That's not who I am. Not anymore! Shit! I made it out. Red Hood, are you there? Your signal just reappeared on the bat computer. Do you read me? I read you, Belfry. It's good to hear your voice. Thank God. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm in one piece. Come back to the Belfry as soon as you can. Talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Hmm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, 
We can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Shit. <laughs> I knew you'd been in it, but damn, Alfred. <laughs> After my last tour, I chose to come to Gotham. That path led me to a life I'd never imagined. Tech-powered street gangs, secret societies, heroes in capes. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud. I thought I was done with war. All I did was trade one for another. The combatants change. The battlefronts shift. But the costs still add up. Both have the scars to show for it. Bruce blamed himself for your death, and for the darkness that followed. But even in the worst of times, we saw that you had the potential to emerge as a better man. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. He believed in you. And was proud of how far you'd come. Especially after everything you've been through. Toya, give me some good news. I've got enough evidence to lock Kane up for years. It's the warrant that's the problem. Is the judge giving you a hard time? I've been to see every judge I know, and no one will sign it. They're scared. Even if they don't know about the court, they know not to mess with Kane. What about Judge Moreno? She's put away some interesting people. Gotham's old money types. Elena was one of the first names on my list. But I guess things got bad over that whole Chelsea Tunnel case. She's gone into hiding. <laughs> Did you forget what I do for a living? I'll ask around. Find some upstanding citizens to point me in the right direction. Get that warrant signed. And you know I'll serve it. I'm looking for Elena Moreno. She's a judge. You gonna tell me where she is? Look, we're not crazy enough to cross the people who want Moreno dead, okay? But, but the regulators, oh! Now they have been bragging about a big protection job. That was easy. <gasps> hey, Belfry. Looks like the mob's got nothing to do with Moreno. But they mentioned something interesting with the regulators. All right. Keep us posted. <laughs> You're going to tell me where I can find Judge Moreno, right? I don't know, but I know we just sold some top-end security equipment. Maybe it was for her. Was that so hard? Belfry, 
The regulators said they sold the freaks some security tech, but that's it. Hmm. That sounds out of character for the freaks. I'd definitely say it's worth investigating. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple. What can you tell me about Elena Moreno? You know, the judge. Oh, yeah. I heard that all we gotta do is keep her safe from those guys in the bird masks. Easy. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Belfry, Moreno was paying the freaks for protection. I'm headed to her location. Good to know. Be careful out there. Are you okay? They were gonna kill me. Just like they killed my brother. Poor Alex. All this because I wouldn't close construction on the Chelsea Tunnel? The court doesn't like it when people say no to them. Damn it. They are real. You can help take them down. I've got a warrant for the arrest of their leader. I'll sign it. People like that can't be allowed to terrorize this city. Glad we're on the same page then. Want me to call someone to pick you up? Someone's already on their way. I knew the freaks couldn't keep this up, so I called a friend. Thank you. And good luck, Red Hood. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. you can make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. Did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. You're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane. We need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing, then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade. Anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. It's go time. Everyone ready? I got the drones. is protected by proprietary armor. You'll need to scale the building. Great. 
Time for a workout. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So you're building a goddamn army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. Why wouldn't you have a sub? <clears throat> You're like a cockroach. Take your best shot. You get one. I'd only need one. But then I'd have to carry you. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard. But you failed me, like you failed Bruce. Maybe you should have stayed dead. Gotham won't accept the court is real, let alone believe I'm the voice. So what? They just have to believe you killed Langstrom. Uh, and what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. It's the judge's day off, but the rest are waiting outside for you. My wife is still the commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Here you go, Montoya. Jacob Kane. Barely a scratch on him. <laughs> <laughs> Working with vigilantes, detective. Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. <laughs> Open your eyes. These corrupt cops are conspiring with vigilantes to put me away. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Catherine, tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! Jacob! Stupid, stupid man. We need to get these people out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. 
Go! What the hell, Talia? Jacob Kane was coming along peacefully, and you murdered him! No. We murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. <laughs> you lied to my face about not being in charge. How long have you been planning your takeover? Years? Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. I'm surprised you didn't kill the old man yourself. I didn't need to. So now what? Hmm? I don't suppose you and your League will leave quietly. The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. Your father used to make speeches like that. They didn't impress me either. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. I did remake you. After all, I remain myself. And I'm gonna take you down. For Bruce. And for me. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Damn it. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya's scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. Grabbing them would take way too long. Hey, maybe we could use this one as bait. Oh? Mm -mm. This is going nowhere. Did you break something again? Does that sometimes, it's fine. Tim. Shit! Tim, it went down the drain. Why didn't you warn me? I did. He totally did. Reservoir. Great. Then we can take them all out at once. You saw what happened. If they blocked the pipes like they did here, it would build a lot of pressure. If the dam burst, it would flood North Gotham. We wouldn't have time to evacuate. I'll call Montoya and let her know what's going on. 
Commissioner King's been calling me non-stop. The whole city's out of water. She wants this fixed ASAP. Guess that makes me the plumber. Any citizens inside? Most of the night crew left after they saw mud going up the pipes, but some are still evacuating. You should have the place to yourself soon enough. Just how I like it. Better you than me. Now get going before my backup gets here. Closed. Belfry? Clayface looks done. Are you certain we're still detecting something? Readings are spiking. You must evacuate now. I'm sending the bat cycle to your location. Did you really think it would be that easy? <laughs> Looks like you had some fun. Gotta get my kick somewhere. And now you get to write it all up. Just another day at the office. 
stopping a clay monster from drowning the city isn't the weirdest thing I've ever done. You and me both. Gotham keeps us guessing. And busy. The commissioner wants me to bag and tag each piece of clay individually. Thank you for that. Sounds like a hard ass if you ask me. That's the understatement of the year. I swear, if you spandex people weren't so useful, I... Why do I even bother? Ugh. Check it, Tim. I'm opening this can, and everyone isn't covered with tomatoes. Ha uh ha. -huh. It wasn't my fault. Hey, the sauce still turned out great. Yeah, we all ate it. Jason, chop chop. Someone needs to get on those onions. You can't have a sauce without onions. Sure. But it's gonna need a little kick. I've got an idea. You'll love it. And extra garlic, please. Now you're talking. Thank you. I thought I was a goner for a second there. Are you okay? I'll be fine. I called Fox Tech. Another team should be here soon. Then I'll have some phone calls to make. If I'd known what would happen... I won't let them get away with it. Good. Are you gonna be okay, Dr. Tompkins? If I can survive the freaks, I can survive this too. Glad to hear it. Got somewhere to hide out until this all blows over? I'm not hiding. There are people out there who need help. I'm not gonna let some idiots with swords scare me off. I won't get in your way. But call if you need us. Will do. Thanks. Again. I've scoured all of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. We just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talons coming back to life, or weird like... Uh, how do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... <laughs> collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. And with our missing ninja friend... Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or, this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, <clears throat> guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. Arkham now. Received. Keep us updated. I'm seeing a light inside. This place has seen some shit. Oh, man. 
That's not good. I can't stay here. I... Uh... You know... You really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight uh... after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. Alfred, I need my gear. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready, I'm ready. Look, when I was a kid, I could hear gunfire almost every night outside our apartment. This is what I train for. To be strong enough to help people like the scared little boy I used to be. Besides, Alfred, you know I'm never gonna play it safe. I'm certain you already know what must be done. I'm going after Talia. She found a Lazarus pit in Gotham, and I can't let her keep it. I'm bringing the fight to her.
saw what you left at Arkham. Sick, even for you. Did you know, child? A Lazarus Pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus Pit can make a mind more malleable. More pliable to suggestion. Oh, do tell me more about the wonders of the Lazarus Pits. Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. What? I wasn't good enough for you? That hurts. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. By repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Jason, I'm alive, and I need you to come back. Bruce, no! So you had to try out dying for yourself. Could you trust my intel just once? Ha, ha, ha. 
Come on. We'll both lose our street cred if anyone sees me helping you. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Least of all, me. Let's go. I can do it. Tell me later. <laughs> Bruce? All you had to do was stand still, beloved. Let me dispose of this burden for both our sakes. No! <coughs> Please, Bruce. You can't. It's your turn, Jason. I know you won't give up. I should have left you in your grave. For his sake, Talia, I'm not gonna kill you. But this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it will me. Jason. So focused on hunting me down, you missed your own determined pursuer. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> You will never bring death to an Elgul. So the court lives forever! You want this Lazarus pit? You go through me! Go! Deal with the pain!
of you grew without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. Lazarus pit is gone. Blasted to bits. With the pit destroyed, the Court of Owls has gone to ground. Mostly. It's only a matter of time till they show up again. Talia got the hell out of Dodge. Laying low somewhere to plan her next move. Of course, she left a few of her League puppets behind to keep an eye on us. Or keep us busy. Both, probably. We checked the Batwing. Or what's left of it. He's dead. Gotham needs me. The court will try to cover this up, like they do everything else. But they're not the only ones watching. Exposing Jacob Kane was just the beginning.